Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh to all the Ripper Hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers, man. Welcome back to a new video on Ripwright HD. Today we in Cali Rev, man, VA with the big bro free, man. Shout out to free, man. We here with Static King Duke. Y'all already know they sending y'all through a, a front level tutorial from beginners to advanced. Let's go free. What we doing first? Uh, we're gonna do the scalping of retraction first, which is pretty much one of the uh, one of the most basic exercises that you can do to advance to the front lever. Okay, so scalp dude. Scapular, uh, scapular retraction basically builds up your scapular muscles. So, because the scapular muscles is actually the primary muscle for the front lever, this is what you want to work on first. Got it. And we got Duke demonstrating it, so y'all gonna see the scapula retractions right there. So how much reps and sets should they be doing of this free? I mean, it's, you wanna get to, you, you, anyone that can do one, their goal is to at least get to seven, uh, at least seven. At least seven. Um, that's when the muscle building actually starts to form when you get to the number seven, really. Got it. Um, but once you get to that goal, then the goal is 10. Once you get to 10, then you wanna do no less than uh, four reps of 10. Four sets. Four, yeah, yeah. four sets of, uh, of 10s. So that's the goal. That's the um, goal, four sets of 10 scalpular pulls. And the, and the primary goal is always make sure that your form is clean. Uh, the, way that your, the way that your form is, is the way that your muscles are gonna build. Mm -hmm. So if you don't wanna look deformed, if you're wondering why some people are uh, muscles look this way and some people muscles look a different way, uh, most most of the time is dealing with their body frame, their diet, and a lot of times it's because of the way their form is. And if your form is deformed, your muscles gonna grow deformed. Wow. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that that's perfect. So where we at next? Uh, uh, next, we're gonna do some. Uh, let's do. Uh, Front raises, front lever raises. So you want me to go high bar from down to horizontal or all yeah, the way down, up? Down to horizontal. You're going to keep it as, as basic as possible. Okay. This is more advanced right here. Okay. And then we, after this, we're going to go back to the base. So I, I, start okay. off, I start them off in the tuck position. Nice. And the key is. You want to keep your body from swinging as little as possible. Keep your arms straight. Keep your core tight. And so, what, what we engaging in this in this movement right here, free? We're engaging the scapula. We're engaging the lats. And we're engaging the core. Um, as you get to the actual scapula, uh, I'm at the um, the actual fore front lever. You're engaging everything down to your toes up to your neck. So it's important that you keep these things in line, locked in place, the so form is correct. So it's almost like a full body. Exactly. So what you gotta say about like the glutes? As, as far as? Like you gotta tighten them too? Yeah, these need to be tightened. The hips need to, need to stay raised. Uh, the hips staying raised has a lot to do with your core, has a lot to do with the top port, uh, portion of your thighs as well. Uh, and we must remember that the core does not just stop around the stomach area. It mm. actually goes all the way down to the top of the thighs. Mm. The core is not just around the upper area. It goes all the way down to the top of the thighs. So, so it's important that we strengthen the legs at the same time as we strengthen the top of the thighs. That's a jewel, y'all. And I would definitely say engaging your glutes and your quads is really important when you're going from the down position all the way toes to the bar. You really want to have that <clears throat> right here, because that way your lats are engaged, your hips are engaged, so the brain is sending signals for all the muscles, all hands on deck. Boom! So I'm gonna go all the way to the bar, toes to the bar. Mm. No swing. 
Nice. So, you only use no momentum. So we're going back to the basic, right? We went to scalpula to tuck raises. So we're gonna go back to the basics. And the basics is we're gonna do push-ups. So the push-ups, it's important that you have the form correct. It's important that you break 90. It's important that you lock out when you come up. If you don't lock up, lock out when you come up. If you don't keep your, your hips raised, if you don't keep your legs locked, knees should not be bent. This means that you're not lifting the, all of the weight that you would be lifting if you was doing it incorrectly. If you're doing it incorrectly, it's still a push-up. It's not like it's not doing anything. But if you want to get stronger to do it correctly, I mean, uh, if you want to get stronger, you have to do it correctly. So I'm going to show do's and do nots. This is the proper form before you start. Proper form. If you're like this, that's no good. The knees bent like this, that's no good. If you're like this, this is no good. If you come down, as you come down, your hips is gonna touch. This should not be happening. Which means, you can't break 90 as much as you would. If, my, if I'm up in the air, drop away, hollow back, and I come down, watch my arms. God. It's harder to come up from this position, but it builds more strength, builds more fu muscle fiber, more muscle growth. Lock out. Nice. So guys, are y'all paying attention? One of the progressions to a front lever is a proper push-up. Wow. Take the juice, man. Mm. Wow. So from the proper push-up, this is the way that you build your progression to the front lever. Man. One of the ways. One of the ways. So where are we at now? So after a dude can do a proper push-up, he can do a tuck, uh, raise, scalpel of pull-ups. Uh, okay. Where would we go from there? So one of the ways I got my front legal hold so strong was I was just doing reps and reps of ice cream makers. Now, a lot of people say that the ice cream maker is not effective, but I'm just talking about how it worked for me because your chin goes over the bar, but once you go into the horizontal position and you're doing it for reps, you go here for one second, but as you get stronger, then you're here for two seconds. Then you're here for three seconds. Mm. So let me demonstrate. So, chin over the bar. You stop your body from swinging. One second. One, two. One, two, three. So you're saying after one, doing two, this for reps three, and... Four. Yeah. The seconds so will start to build up. Exactly. When you're just doing it for reps, you see everything is straight. My, loop, my glutes are engaged. My quads are engaged. My toes is pointed. My grip is strong. Everything activated. You got to think okay. okay. So from yeah. the ice cream makers, now we got that, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's say a guy never gets to holding it for a second or two seconds and it, he's finding it hard. What would you- yeah, You have to work up to that. You, okay. And what I would recommend, because it's almost like a, a, a pull up because as you pull up, your chin is over the bar. And once you stand all the way out and you come back, your chin goes back over the bar again. So I would say keep those at a low rep range. I would say maybe three sets of five, rest between one and two minutes between sets. Mm. Yep. Because for guys like me, I can front lever one leg, right? For the guys out there that, that can front lever one leg, what would you have for us if we can just do the one leg? Okay. What, what, so, what would be next for guys like us? Okay. So I'm going to go to this low bar right here. So 
I'm going to show you three different positions. So what we was doing earlier, I just had you come and just come like this. But you got to make sure that your back and your hips are in a straight line. But you see, look at my legs. My knees are locked out, right? And you can just hold this position for maybe 10 seconds because the benefit that you're getting for that is time and attention, number one, grip strength, lat engagement, and core engagement. So another position is the tuck. So this is the tuck position. Before, I was like this. Now I'm like this. So advanced tuck is, boom, right here. So y'all see that, guys, you're starting Right, with, with, with the basic L sit almost horizontal. So upside down L sit. Then you yeah. go into the tuck, then you go into yep. the advanced tuck. So it's all progressions that he's saying you should be doing, resting one or two minutes in between for reps and sex. Yep. And if you get to the point where you at this upside down L sit, then you're at this tuck position, then you're at this position, then you can go boom, boom. Then you can rotate those legs. One leg in, one leg out, one leg in, one leg out. And the benefit that you're getting is, again, the grip strength, time under tension, core engagement, lat engagement. Okay, so let's see that, let's see that, let's see the end result of that front lever. A hard snap. What do you mean a hard snap? Like the boom, just in that position. That's... Okay, so I'm gonna start from the top. Come down, look at the technique. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Guys, we hope this um helped, man. Stay tuned to the series. We're free. Oh, we got more, we got more. And your boy. You got anything to add on for the front? Static yeah. King. Okay. Hold up, we got more. You got more. Look, it's bonus, y'all. Um, so one of the things that we want to remember is that the core is connected to the top portion of the thighs. And so you have a issue with the waist staying up when you're trying to do the front lever, then you may want to go to uh, strictly squats. Um, so when you're doing squats, I'll turn to the side. So for instance, sumo squats. So when you're doing squats, you want to come down. And as you, when you come up, Make sure mm. it gets thrust out. As you're doing this, you'll notice that it starts to get harder to actually thrust those grips, uh, those hips out. And this will actually build up posterior, keeping your hips high and keeping those glutes tight. Nice. So when you going, mm. 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 We can see you break 90 on that thing. Yes. ATG. Good and work. Do y'all see the hip thrust? The hip thrust that he's doing? That's the same position. Boom. Like you were saying. A, a front legal position. So boom, boom, boom. Right here. These glutes are engaged. These quads are engaged. All right, guys. The next thing is you want to make sure that you stay on the push ups. Stay on the push ups. Stay on the pull ups. Pull ups. It's important to do the proper form with the pull-ups as well. When you lock out, when you come all the way down, never disengage the shelf. This is dis disengaging. That's disengaging. Keep it engaged. Yeah. Never disengage unless you're doing scalp work. Practice. But never when you're going pull up. Hey, what's up, man? You're supposed to be here today. Are we all right, guys? Nice. Forward, where you at, Sam? Over the ball, ears over the ball. All the way down. Keeping the scapula engaged. Never disengage. This is disengaged. This is engaged. Nice. Disengage. Engage. All the way up. All the way down. All the way up. All we got. All right. 
Appreciate it. Y'all guys stay tuned, man. More to come. Advanced calisthenic static movement. Indeed, in the body, literal translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh